Welcome. This is the uh, Tennessee Algebra 2 end of course test or end of course practice test. Question number 41. The question says Sonia and Alex share their work on equation absolute value of 2x plus 3 equals 13 as shown below. They give the work for Sonia, they give the work for Alex. Then they say which statement is true? A. Alex solved the equation correctly. B. Sonia solved the equation correctly. C. The only solution for the original equation is 5. Or D. Neither Alex nor Sonia solved the equation correctly. Well, if C says that the only solution for the original equation is 5, and D says that neither Alex nor Sonia got the equation correct, wouldn't that be indicative of the same basic idea? Because if it's both 5, then Sonia and Alex would have gotten five, but they didn't. So it seems C and D may be in a little bit of uh, dispute about whether they're both possible or not. Anyway, we're going to look at their work. We're doing an absolute value situation here. The idea of an absolute value is that it is absolute, but you do have to split it into two parts because it's negative and positive and it's set up in a certain way. So if I have the absolute value of x, I know that it could be eight or it could be negative 8, I could plug in here, and it give me the same exact answer, which would be 8, right? So the part that stays inside is absolute. So I'm going to write 2x plus 3 down twice. The only thing I'm going to change is just like up here where I adjusted because the 8 and negative 8 being plugged in for x is OK, I need to plug in 13 and negative 13. Then I can solve them out, which uh, Alex did perfectly. Sonia unfortunately changed the value of the uh, sign in front of, or changed the sign I should say, in front of the 2 here, which means she changed something that was supposed to be absolute. It can't be absolute if it's changing, right? So that's probably not it. Alex is looking pretty good in terms of the work that's done. So I've got this, this, my absolute part is absolute, the part that needs to change did change. The math is correct because it does minus 3 gives you 10, divide by 2 gives you 5 over here, minus 3 gives you negative 16, divide by 2 it gives you negative 8. So I'm going to check off and say Alex's work is perfectly fine, which would make me think that the answer to number 41 is A. So be questionable about what stays the same and what doesn't, think about what the word absolute means, and I think everything should work out fine for you. And that's question number 41.